How's it going everyone? Today's topic will be K1 Revelation Master Lost Sector. We're dealing with an Arc Hunter. Champions are Barrier Unstoppable with a Threat of Void. So I'd recommend running, uh, if you want to run some Void Resistance here or anything that's long distance, as you do have Ogres and Ogres tend to really wreck you if you don't have some Void Resist. So of all things, if you ever see a dungeon, a dungeon or Lost Sector uh, with anything that has an Ogre, Void Resist it up because those things will truck you. That's the biggest damage output is gonna happen. The boss is also happens to be an Ogre here. Um, so it's going to be kind of annoying to deal with. But we are running Liar's Handshake. So we're going to be doing punch, 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 punch. Uh, so we'll make sure you're, you know, everything going for melee. You want to do hands-on here so you can get uh, more super energy here. It does pair up very nicely with the uh, artifact mod for authorized melee. So this season, if you want to run punch, 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 uh, arc, uh, arc uh, hunter, this is the way to go. Um, we do have everything stated in resilience and discipline as the cycle with this build of your class ability and your melee will always be countering each other back and forth, back and forth. So you might as well, um, since they're going to infinitely be up, you might as well get discipline so you can have your grenade up time also. So you have everything going right More grenade kills, uh, means it's just more, more ionic sparks. They help you with jolts. So more of time dealing with jolts, which helps you with keep everything else alive for dealing with overloads. Uh, for today, we will be doing just barriers and unstoppables. So I do recommend, uh, if you want to run riptide to deal with, uh, unstoppable, and you'd always use Leviathan's Breath for a good range, keep yourself at a good distance. It wrecks bosses. This is one of the most underrated weapons. Um, it thing just dominates everything, especially for range, and it has intrinsic under uh, unstoppable. I am running an auto rifle. I am using an arc on auto rifle. If I need to use anything else fire for range, I can. Um, but I would run any auto rifle, anything that has intrinsic barrier. If you didn't want to run Leviathan's Breath, you could run a machine gun and then run this with centrifuge instead as the auto rifle. I don't think most, I don't think you'll be using your auto rifle as much besides just take down the barriers. And then after you take down the barriers, you can then punch, punch and kill everything. Um, but uh, this is just kind of here for uh, dealing with barriers. And other than that, you're just going to be comboing back and forth with melee, melee class ability, melee class ability. That's all you're going to do. So we're going to cycle that back and forth um, as we're using a combination blow here. So you're just literally going to be using the gambler's dodge when you're close to somebody. You're going to, so you're going to punch somebody, gambler's dodge, punch somebody, gambler's dodge back and forth all day long until you get your head blows up. Um, and then that's all you're going to be doing. So we're just using a current flow state here. And then we're using a uh, spark of ions to pair up with our uh, spark of shock magnitude for more cooldown reduction with ionic traces. And then spark resistance as we are going to be in close combat, you want to have something to keep you alive. If you didn't want to run Spark of Ions, you could run something else. Um, you could run uh, Spark of Feedback if you wanted. It'll give you increase your outgoing melee damage. So if you wanted to punch, 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 you can always take that. Um, it's all preference. Um, I need to go unlock this since this is an ultimate, but this is probably a decent one to switch out with uh, Spark of Ions. But again, all your preference. This is a comfort pick. If you don't want to run the punch, punch build, you can always run. Actually, you really don't. You can run any exotic you want. There's no specific thing you really need to do for Hunter. Hunter is kind of flexible with what you want to do uh, warlocks kind of restricted with things if you want to run assassin's cow that's super good too um, if you want to run uh, what's the other one i don't think you want to run the glaive one uh, but if you want to run lucky pants if you want to run bomb deers um, you could do different different things you can run here um, i would recommend probably just the combo thing just to make it easy as we're just going to literally see me just jump punch jump punch jump punch all day long um, and then just kind of survive that way if you do like um uh and machine guns they are overloaded so if you want to just smash everything <laughs> with a uh, machine gun you can all right then let's just make sure we grenade all these things down punch dodge punch should be pretty easy just to dodge everything punch everything in the face get everything going Let's see if we can find the unstoppable or that's not the barrier champion. Red bar easy, we're gonna jolt this guy. Let's hit up. Boom! Headshot. Boom, headshot. Perfect. We're gonna get this prepped out. Go forward, trigger's gonna activate. Headshot, easy. Dodge, punch. Punch. Dodge. Punch. Easy times. Barrier's gonna come up top. There you are, come on up here. Five is breast ready to go. 
two shots, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, we're gonna let's go down top, go down the bottom here, get some punch time. Dodge. Punch. What I remember dodge. Punch. Grenade everything, it should be easy. We're staying alive with the healing of everything else coming in. Uh, we want to make sure we get the shield down. Come on. Shield. There you are. Perfect. Through the face. There we are. We're going to make sure we have the Riptide out available because we're going to punch things around once, once we do enough mobs here. The stop was gonna spawn. Hello. Oops, I missed that one. And all right, easy peasy. I don't know why I keep saying easy peasy. Check me on that. Every time I say that, you guys should make fun of me in the comments. <laughs> so just make this easy peasy, easy peasy. Here we go up top. You can either go to the right side, kill that one, that crystal first. Or you can go up top. I'm gonna go up top here, see if I can... It's gonna be easy. Oh, I did not get up there enough. The barrier's gonna happen, I'm gonna miss it. Yeah, missing it, dang. There it down, sweet. One, two. Oh no, I'm ready for you. Make sure with the uh, ogres you don't, you know, stay in line of sight. You want to hide a little bit, <laughs> just because they will mess you up. I thought I shot him. Oh, I had to reload. Reload the choke clip in there. Finish her. There we are. Heavy ammo. And then we'll go to the other side. You can finish off these mobs if you want. Um, as they will cross fire with you. Your main threat's gonna be over here to the right. So we're just gonna go over here. Dodge. Punch. The shield out. We're gonna Leviathan breath here. I only want to do one of them though. I don't want to do too many. I don't want to save my ammo for the boss. Oh, not a good spot. We're gonna get out of here. Punch. And then now, I don't know where he's at. Let's assume he's behind this box. Me. I think he's, I think he's behind this box or something. Do we wanna, here we are. So, where are you, big dude? Oh, you're in the middle. It's frozen, don't have to think about it. Before to go away, I'm gonna stun him again. I think with the ice is you can let him sit there. And then whenever his aura thing goes away, then you can break the ice and then you can mess him up. There's no rush. Okay, now we have... Oh, we have, actually have multiple crystals. I missed that one. Kill the crystals! Okay, so whenever you're ready, no rush. Make sure your abilities are up. Then get this guy. Okay, I'm gonna go and uh, grab this first. I wanna make sure I have my ammo. Right. We have plenty of bullets of unstoppable. So, again, reminder, if you have an unstoppable weapon, when you use it on this guy, it'll stop him, right? So what you want to do is you want to have your bow ready or riptide. He looks at you, right? You hit him with the bow, so he stops. And you get your ult off. Keep on hitting on unstoppable. Don't focus anything else. Just focus boss. Get the free damage with unstoppable here. Can't do anything. 
Easy. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna find these guys, grenade them. We wanna find the barriers. They're barriers, so they're gonna be annoying with their shields. Focus one at a time, don't go after the other one. There we are. Bear down. These are the last bullet here. And now we just have little things. So now we can just dodge, punch. You have a knight here, right? He will mess you up. You can, what you can do is you can either just you just jump over him. Whenever you're ready, jump over him. He just not that bad. But he can't. He, if he hits you, he will do a lot of damage. Now we're gonna do some risky. We're gonna punch. So the boss is over. But you'll notice that uh, everything's not done. Because you still have some random mobs around here that are just going to spawn. So you either can kill them all, or you just go grab the chest, whatever your preference. Um, I'll just kill them all, that way I'll have to deal with them. But uh, I'm going to outro. I hope this helps out. You see you flawless here. Hope you like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'm happy to answer anything. Ooh. Or uh, looking to improve my channel in any way. If it's awful, let me know. If it's great, let me know. Just want to make sure I'm improving or uh, doing anything I can to, you know, help people out because definitely good information. Oh, exotic chess piece. Sweet, I didn't have that. Uh, eight minute, oh, seven minute, almost eight minute run. Um, this is not really recommended as one to run over and over and over. Um, this or today, uh, because it takes you know seven minutes, you can't really get them done. You want to go for one that's a master or a legendary that can get done in like two minutes. So this one has some time gating, so you kind of have to wait a little bit for things to spawn. It's kind of annoying. So I recommend uh, running maybe another one of the K1 variants, um, which I'll have, I have other videos for also. Um, if, if you want to look, check those out, definitely look at my channel. Uh, like and subscribe. I do stream on twitch.tv slash Prime. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day.